Hey Internet, this is Al over here at Paler, and I want to show you uh, a simple exercise that I think will help you get the drift of using the function key F5, which changes the direction of axis on your isometric. I'm assuming that you're in isometric now and you're ready to draw an isometric projection. If you're not, go into OSnap, right click, go to settings, left click, go to the tab, left tab that says OSnap. Okay, snap and grid. Okay? Go all the way down the bottom and choose orthographic. I'm sorry, isometric. Okay, since you're here, let's go ahead. Let's start with line, and what we're going to do is we're going over all these blue lines, okay? And we're going to start right here, and we're going in this general direction. Don't be afraid of overshooting. 4.5, enter. Okay, now we're going to go in this direction. Don't be afraid of overshooting. Okay, 2.25, enter. Hit function key F5 on the top of your board. 0.75, enter. Slide this way now. 3 quarters of an inch, 0.75, enter. Slide this way now, we can't do it. Hit F5 again, see what happens. There we go. How much? 0.625, 5 eighths, enter. And now let's go back this way, we can't. Let's hit F5, come this way. 1.5, enter, enter. There we are, okay? Now we have all of these funny things to copy. Well, let's copy. Let's click here, here, and here. Enter. Pick it up here. Drop it here. Enter. There we are. Now we got these blue lines to do. Okay. Again, let's copy. Copy what? Copy this. Enter. From here to here to here to here. Enter. There we have it. Now let's pick up a trim command. Draw a big trim window around everything. Like that. Enter. Okay. Take this out and this out. Okay, and I'm going to leave that green line there. Now let's go up here. Left click. Let's hit F5. Uh, just like that. Let's go up. Oop, excuse me. Click. Right there. Go up one inch. Okay over one and an eighth, 1.125, up a half, 0.5, over 1.125, and now let's come this way. Oh, we can't do it, so what do we hit? F5 is right, and come over 0.75, enter, enter. Now let's copy again. Copy what? Copy this, this, and this, enter, pick it up here, drop it here, enter. Now what? Well, let's pick up copy again. Let's copy this, enter from here, drop it, oops, here, and oops, here, and here, enter. So now all that's done. Last thing to do is to extend some lines. Let's extend this line, click this way. That's good, just let it roll. Let's extend this line, oops. This way, let it roll. Let's extend this line down. Let's extend, enter. Hit F5, let's extend this line to here. Enter. And I think we're all set. No, we got that one there to do. So let's just click F5 and run that one down. Now put a big trim window around everything. Trim around everything. Okay, and we'll take this out. Always work from the outside in, right? And that's how we do it. So this is a sort of quick way for you to get a handle on how to do isometric drawings. Okay, so this is Alec Paler and the uh, the Snapple tip of the day is that almonds are part of the peach tree family. How's that?